he's gone right to the back. This is Tigana. Lacan is through the centre and only just stopped by this. Tigana. Camacho won't follow him, but uh, he will when he goes forward. Tigana. Batini again. Tigana. Nice play. Alan Jerez. And Jerez carries it through. Tigana. Jerez. Who then tackles Carrasco. And here's Tigana. Oh, that was delightful. The absolute marvel. To be here, I'm sure they have, and they are going to enjoy it, and they're going to give good value for money. It's interesting, I think, that uh, because France have a tack employ here for the French team, hasn't had the greatest of tournaments. The little centre forward. That's France's uh, puzzling position in a way. The two strikers. They've switched a little bit there. But the midfield is the department where they're so strong. His ball finds Santayana, and the French, as they proved against England, are very good tacklers on the edge of their own area. Lacombe, Tigana, always somebody on for him. Rather than a hand, here's Tigana. His way was blocked by Victor. Wonderful little player, Jean Tigana. Endless stamina. He's got all the British qualities in that respect. There's hardly anything of him. Intuitive midfield of French have got. Jures back again to Tigana and Victor having to work overtime to track him back. End it with Batis. Tigana. Here's Francisco. And it's floated for him. And that was Santayana rocking it back and a chance on the far post. But Santayana, who strengthened the air I mentioned, made it possible by actually knocking the ball. Here he is again. Bellon with the tackle, and the referee is... Tackle was by LaRue. Play on to the referee. Tigana. It's given away. And Spain has charged forward into the attack. Checked a little now, because... Seven, Senor. Tigana with the kick. Keeping the ball in and trying to turn, lost it. Tigana. Yeah. 25 minutes gone in the final of the European Championship in Paris. France nil, Spain nil, and Carrasco for Spain. Given away by Tigana. Well put it in the Football League, but not here. It was a booking. Because had Ballon gone past uh, Gallego, he had a run on goal. No doubt about that at all. There's no cover. Julio Alberto. Tigana for France. In this first half, he set up a chance earlier on, you'll remember. Tigana. Tigana. And the man who finds it very hard to finish, despite all his other qualities, is Jean Tigana. He's playing tonight his 33rd match for France. <laughs> A little bit of consolation from Francisco, but Tigana has never scored in a full international. And uh, perhaps that's one of the reasons why player who's giving France a lot of difficulty. Good defending. Tigana. Foul by number 14, Julio Alberto. On Tigana. Five minutes left in the first half. France nil, Spain nil, and a dangerous place to give away a free kick. And the, the French are now getting on to the referee about the perpetual fouling of the Spaniards. And Fernandez would do well to stop arguing because he's been booked. Spain, they've got a man over. This is Victor, and they've got Senor through the middle offside, number seven. Bobby Robson. Well, that was a marvellous break, but uh, 
it was it was thwarted by the number seven who in actual fact ran too early all he's got to do is look along the line he had time to do that because it was a good early ball by uh, uh, by victor and it would have put the player right in and that was a marvelous break in a really good position and just at a very critical time about three or four minutes before half time and he just ran too early just a little bit of patience there and uh, the spanish player would have been in and through Yes, Spain may well feel that they've made the more promising openings, but here's your... Simon, he's playing too deep now. Uh, and he's getting the ball in areas where it's certainly not going to hurt the, the Spanish team. And they're quite happy for him to play deep. Uh, and I think there's got to be... A, a Little Victor plays for Barcelona, so he'll be under Terry Venable's stewardship next season. Latini. Tigana. Now, Bostis is trying to make the extra man from the French back four, but Tigana has sold himself and the ball. Carrasco. Oh, he's away. He's away. It's Carrasco. Number 14. One minute to go in the first half, and Carrasco there looked to be on for a run at goal, but LaRue made up the ground. Three of them round Platini there. And now Tigana tries to win it back, and it's Santayana. Up from the back on the far side, Urquiaga. For a friendly in order to acclimatise what we hope will be our appearance there in 86. But we're still in 84. It just shows the sort of job that uh, Camacho is doing on Platini now. Yes, he certainly has whose pass it was initially. Tigana. Lacoste. This is their first major final. Tigana. 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 Five minutes gone in the second half. Chires has gone through as Tigana carries the ball and gets fouled by Victor. Sure. Julio Alberto. That's a good run by. Tigana. Lacoste. Well, again, it's a comfortable start by Spain. I'm, I'm quite impressed with the midfield play of the Spanish. To turn that inside to Carrasco, there was something happening. Instead, it's Tigana to Platini. Victor. Domeg. Alain Jures. Tigana. And they thread their way through this Spanish. Referee played a good advantage. Jean Tigana. Jerez! And take it. Tigana. Victor, number eight. Santayana's in the area. Carrasco is in the area. Can they prove they're winners at last? Tigana. Platini. And that long ball has put them in a little bit of trouble. And Senor cut it back. Carrasco's there. Tigana. Jerez Bossis. Tigana. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Bossis is outside him. Bossis. La Corme on the near post, stopped by Salva. Tigana, who made it all possible. And Jerez, and Jerez, oh! All of the evening, I should think. Tigana played a marvellous part there on two occasions. Wonderful skill, great acceleration of play. And he set uh, little Jerez up with a... Tigana. Number 14. Tries to get Batty. Feel of tension among the French supporters as well as the players. Can they hold on or indeed even improve it? Tigana. Oh, magic. And Hakanado stretching. They deserve it, but Tigana's been a wonderful player. Carrasco playing the one come off. Francisco. Senor. Sarabia. Victor. Play on to the referee. 
Victor turned angrily, but Tigana turned thankfully with the ball. Oh, Genjini. Victor having an industrious match. This is Platini. This is Tigana. How does he do it? He almost retrieved the ball even. Francisco has to go. Sarabia taken by LaRue. Carrasco. As Bobby Robson said, there were so many players on a knife edge with all those yellow cards. And Tayana. Locked it in by Sarabia. There's trouble here. A brilliant score right at the death. Francisco looks for Roberto. Tigana. Is there a chance for Amaros to break on the right wing or even Belong through the middle? It's Belong for Vlad. Can he finish it here? Goal! They've done it! Proved himself the manager they all thought he was by lifting France in international football. And Jan Tigana splits the Spanish defence and Bruno Bellon runs on. And in stoppage time, as Alcanada comes off his six-yard line, Bellon with a delicate little chip, so symptomatic of the football they played, puts it beyond any doubt at all, and there may not even be time to kick off. The ball played through the middle by Jean Tigana, and there was nobody to stop him except Arcanada. And look how he cut out the goalkeeper and finished a memorable night for the French. Tigana down the line for now. Many things may be, but there is no doubt what's happened here. France have won the European Championship for the first time in their history.